Hi, my name's Julie Meek. I'm a sports dietitian. And today we're going to cook something that is super delicious, very easy, and something you can prepare in five minutes. And it's pizza scrolls. So pizza scrolls are something that you might ordinarily buy at a bakery that would be perhaps a little bit too high in fat. But these ones are fantastic. They're high in protein, they've got lots of calcium, and they've got some good antioxidants from the tomato sauce that we're going to put in as well. The ingredients are really simple. So we've simply got yogurt, flour, cheese, and pasta sauce. So most of us would have those in the pantry. So to start with, we put four cups of flour into the mixing bowl, and that is self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising flour and you've got plain, you could easily use that as well with a little bit of baking powder. So the first thing we do once we've got that in there is then put the yogurt in. Now the yogurt that we're using today is actually a Greek natural yogurt. You don't want a yogurt that's too thin and not one that's too thick. So somewhere in the middle because then the dough will come together really nicely. So simply put the yogurt into the flour and have a bread and butter knife handy close by because you're going to use that to mix the dough. You're also going to get your hands a little bit dirty, so be prepared for that. So the yogurt goes in and then we mix it around. Once you start mixing that around, you'll notice that the dough is coming together, but it might take just a couple of minutes to form a bit of a, a wet ball. Don't panic if the dough does not seem to be coming together as well as you thought. If you add too much yogurt, you'll have a very wet dough and it will be virtually impossible to put it together. So once it starts forming big breadcrumb kind of balls, you are going to need to put your hands in it and start making it into a ball of dough. So we'll do that now. Once you start doing this, you'll notice whether you have enough yogurt or maybe you need a little bit more. Okay, so now we have this dough that is in more or less a ball. We need to sit it there for about five minutes. No longer than that, but it just gives the dough a chance to prove a little bit and to get a little bit fluffy. And then from there, we'll put it onto the board. So now we have our little bowl of, of dough. This is a single recipe. So it's ingredients, the four cups of flour and the one cup of yogurt. If you're feeding a family, then you might actually want to double this recipe. So you'd end up with a much bigger ball of dough. So let's get that out onto a floured board. And now what we're going to do is roll it into a rectangle shape. Now I will say at this point that the rectangle may not be perfect. Don't stress about that as long as in some format and then we can have a longer side and a shorter side so we can actually roll it up quite well rather than a circle. So we'll take it out of the bowl, just use a little bit of flour, it doesn't matter what kind it is, whether it's self-raising or plain. Sprinkle that really well on your board because you don't want to be in the position where you cannot get this dough off the board. And I've had that plenty of times. Also, whatever you're choosing to roll with, put some flour on there as well. I've got a really heavy rolling pin, which is made of marble because sometimes you need a bit of power behind that when you're rolling out this dough, but whatever you've got. So if you get, when you start to roll this dough out and it starts to get a little bit sticky, then just add a little bit more flour onto the rolling pin. Okay, whatever shape your dough happens to be in, this is about the thickness that you want. So if we were to measure that with a ruler, you'd probably find that it would be about one to two millimetres thick. Thicker than that, it's not good. So let's keep it nice and thin. So here we have our dough. Now that's actually ready to dress up. So we have some pasta sauce. It doesn't really matter which pasta sauce you have, whatever's in the pantry. And when you're putting this onto your dough, make sure that you don't overload it. If you put too much of this sauce onto the dough, you end up with a really wet, scroll and that will be really difficult to roll up. Okay, so that is plenty on there. Once you've got that sauce on, it's finishing the, the scrolls off by a grated cheese. And you won't need any more than about half to three quarters of a cup. 
depending on whether you've made a single or a double dough. It's tempting to put a lot of cheese on here, but you don't really need to because it really goes oozy once it's in the oven. So now we have the pasta sauce on the dough, followed by the grated cheese, and now we're actually ready to roll up. Whatever end is longest, that's where you need to start. So for this one, we'll start from this end. And what you want to do as you're rolling is tuck. So as you roll, just tuck that dough underneath and then keep pulling towards you until we have a nice big sausage. So you've got basically got a big sausage dough and then just squish the ends in a little bit so that you've got not skinny bits at the end. So once you've got your nice big sausage of dough, we're ready to cut that and then we can make the rest of the scrolls. And the size that you're actually cutting them is about two centimetres. It does depend a little bit on how big you want your scrolls to be, but that's, generally speaking, a pretty good size. So this one has actually made nine, but you might make them a bit thinner or a bit fatter and you might have a bit more or less, but that is our dough ready to put on the baking tray. So the next bit is really simple, and that is picking up the pieces of the scroll that you just cut. The ideal thing when you're putting these onto a tray is to put them really close together, snugs them up a little bit because they actually like to be together and they don't dry out on the edges if you do that. But right now, these are ready to go into the oven. So what you need is a 180 degree oven, or maybe slightly less than that if you have a fan forced, and then they just get popped in there for about 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them. Some, if your oven's really hot, might take a little bit less or a little bit more. So now these guys are actually ready to put in. So now we have our baked scrolls. They smell absolutely delicious. That waft of pasta sauce, pizza, cheese has all come together in these scrolls. They're cooked really beautifully. They're still nice and fluffy, but they're a little bit crispy on top. All you need to do now is eat and enjoy. The perfect snack, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. These are the pizza scrolls made with yogurt.